Uh, yeah, I hope that you're hearing me. Uh-huh. This is the future, all about cybersecurity. Talking about the hackers, I'm just trying to warn you. From the one and only legend, the cyber informer. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is the cyber reformer. Uh, this is the cyber reformer. Let's go. It's time for the Cybersecurity Business Connect and Protect Central Coast How To Video. I am Michael Trimblett, the Cyber Informer, and today we'll be talking about Skykick. The Essential 8 recommends daily backups, and I recommend conforming to the 321 backup rule. In this video, I will have a look at how Skykick works and how it conforms to the Essential 8 backup strategy. Let's go. Daily backups are an important mitigation strategy for the Essential 8. To read more about the Essential 8, go to https colon slash slash loyalit.com.au slash e8. This will redirect you to the government's website. Daily backups relate back to availability and integrity in the CIA triad and is designed to be part of a disaster recovery plan should the worst happen. Backups are to be configured on key workstations and servers and on cloud services where you store your data. Backup retention needs to be considered. Retention is how long the backups are accessible for before they are overwritten. The Essential 8 suggests at least three months. For Microsoft 365, Loyal IT recommends a product called Skykick. There are a number of different backup products, however, Skykick is cost effective and just works. Why backup? People delete data, mostly accidentally, sometimes intentionally, and there is the ever present threat of ransomware and other malware. Microsoft 365 provides redundancy, but that only ensures the availability of the present state of data. It does not back up the data to protect against data loss events. That means that even in the cloud, data protection is necessary. Just because it is in the cloud doesn't mean that it can't be lost. As we can see from this graph, the most common source of data loss is user error. Software errors can cause data loss too. However, hackers and malicious insiders combined equals 20% of all data loss. I've combined those two figures because hacking and malicious insiders are the same thing. We look at these figures and we can then take from that one in five businesses where cloud data is lost is due to hacking activities. This really makes you think if your data is secure enough and whether you have a robust backup solution. What is Skykick? Skykick is a cloud to cloud backup software. This is focused on Microsoft 365. There are other backup solutions for other cloud platforms. However, this is Loyal IT's backup of choice for Microsoft 365. Skykick performs backups of Microsoft 365 SharePoint, OneDrive, Groups, Teams, and Outlook data. By default, it conforms to the Essential 8 daily backup recommendation, which includes unlimited retention. If you remember from previous videos, the Essential 8 recommends data retention of at least three months. This is unlimited, which means if you have it running for 10 years, you will have 10 years retention. That exceeds the data retention recommendations of any industry. Skykick runs automated backups six times per day. You don't have control of these backups, but you can see on the dashboard when the last one was triggered, which we will see in the demonstration shortly. Skykick features. It backs up SharePoint sites, OneDrive accounts, Outlook mailboxes, and Teams data. Unlimited retention. You can go back to any point in time after the first backup is completed. It's largely set and forget. If there are major changes to Microsoft 365, then some maintenance is required. However, that has happened once in the last five years. One click recovery for a SharePoint site, OneDrive account, or full mailbox. This is a great feature because past backup solutions can be so clumsy when it comes to recovery. This is simple. Granular recovery down to the file or singular email, which means you can restore that email you accidentally deleted or that file you messed up. Or if you have a malicious insider that deleted all of their email or a large portion of your data, you can choose the data to recover very easily. Privacy is maintained because you can't view data in Skykick. You can only restore to the original location, which maintains the original permissions. Skykick will only show you the name of the file or email sender or subject. In other words, the metadata, not the actual data. This image depicts how the Skykick backup works. What we can see from this image is that your PC syncs data to and from Microsoft 365. This data includes data from SharePoint, OneDrive, and Outlook. The data is then backed up to Skykick. This backup happens every four hours or so. What would happen if your data was cryptoed up by ransomware? It would be synced to Microsoft 365, which then would be backed up to Skykick. However, due to Skykick's unlimited retention, we could recover from before the cybersecurity incident occurred and we haven't lost a thing. This is precisely what you want from your backup solution. We've talked about this a few times now, but retention is how long you will keep your backups 
before they are overwritten or deleted. Geikey keeps data from day one. Even if users are deleted, the data is retained. Remember, the Essential 8 recommends three months data retention. Skykick keeps data indefinitely. Let's see how this all works. This is Skykick. This is the Skykick dashboard. Whenever you log into Skykick, this is what you'll see first of all. You'll see all the stats on your data. So starting here, we can see the split between Exchange and SharePoint and OneDrive data. This gives you an at-a-glance view of how much data you're backing up. We then see the monthly breakdown of Exchange and SharePoint OneDrive in a bar graph. We can see how many mailboxes we're backing up. So this is 27 individual mailboxes plus 26 shared mailboxes plus another four public folders. This is a SharePoint and OneDrive breakdown. We have three SharePoint collections, 34 OneDrive business accounts, we can see the last time that it was backed up. We can see that for the exchange above it as well. We currently don't have any groups or teams backups. If you hover over the backup type, you'll get a shortcut to restore the data. The alerts tab will show us if there's any active alerts, such as not being able to access a mailbox or your Office 365 account. Next is the exchange tab, which shows us all of the mailboxes we can recover. And the SharePoint tab shows us all of the SharePoint sites we're backing up. I'll now demonstrate how to restore some data from Skykick. Here is my Skykick demonstration folder, which we can see is accessible in Windows 10. You can see it's called Skykick Demo. Within that, we have a Delete Me folder. This has a number of data files in it from Word documents, PowerPoint, and MP3 files. This is my podcast folder. So it's quite important for me to back this up. So let's delete it. Why not? Now that it's deleted, let's go into Skykick to recover the folder. First, we'll go to the SharePoint site. We'll go to the Cybersecurity Document Library. We'll scroll down to the Skykick demo folder. It contains the Delete Me folder. If we bring back the folder on my computer, you can see that it's empty. We've already deleted the Delete Me folder. We'll check out the contents of the Delete Me folder just to make sure that everything is in there. We can see that we have all the Word documents, the PowerPoint, and the MP3 files. To restore, we click the box next to Delete Me, hit the Restore button. Skykick will check to make sure it can access the Office 365 account. We can then hit Continue. Now we'll watch as Skykick recovers our data. The spinning circle indicates the restore process is in progress. I'll speed up the video so we're not waiting in real time, even though it takes about 30 seconds to start restoring data. The Delete Me folder is back. We'll go into that and watch our data recover. I'll speed this up because from here it takes about a minute for it to complete. Skykick has now successfully restored all of the data. When we go back to the Skykick screen, it will refresh and we'll see that that circle is no longer spinning next to the SharePoint site. There is a one next to the Alerts tab which indicates there's an alert to be viewed. The alert is simply telling us that there were some SharePoint files that were successfully restored. In the Monitoring tab, we get more information about this. The Monitoring tab shows us the restore job that we created. And if we click on the down arrow, we'll see how long it took, one minute. We can see that it restored, it restored 93 megabytes of data, eight items were restored, and it was not a full site restore. We've seen how to restore data, but we can also restore Microsoft Exchange which is your email. If we go to the Exchange tab, we can go down and select My Mailbox. We can go into the Inbox of My Mailbox. Let's say we wanted to restore this email. We put a tick in the box, then we click on the Restore button. We won't do that now, but notice as I'm clicking across the line here, I can't see any information about that email, or I can't see the content of that email. That's because your privacy is maintained. Skykick will not show you the contents of files, nor will it show you the contents of email. That maintains your privacy. All we can see is the metadata, which is the name of the sender, the subject, and the date. To recover a full SharePoint site, go to SharePoint tab, put a tick in the box next to the site you would like to restore. Under the Actions heading, click on the button with the three dots, then select Restore Full Site Collection. This is the one-click restore that I've been talking about. It's as easy as going in and selecting the site, selecting full restore, and then hitting confirm. 
That will then go through and restore your data. Depending on how much data you have, will determine how long it will take to restore fully. We saw 93 megabytes took about a minute to restore. If you have a terabyte worth of data, that's going to be significantly longer. The same can be done for mailboxes. Select the three dots next to the mailbox you would like to restore and click on Restore Mailbox. There are other full restores you can perform on the mailbox as well. When you select Restore Mailbox, you get the option to do a point in time restore, which will allow you to restore everything back to that particular point in time. You'll be able to see you can select a date and what time you want to restore from. You have the option to restore the full contents of this mailbox back to my mailbox, or you can do a restore full contents to another mailbox. Hit the restore button and that will start restoring. Select full mailbox restore if you just want to restore absolutely everything from the latest backup. Click on restore mailbox, it will start restoring to the destination mailbox that you've selected. To give you an idea of how long this would take, when I restored a 40 gigabyte mailbox, it took a touch over six hours to complete. So I'm not going to demo that now. That's the end of the demonstration. Now you can see how easy it is to recover data from Skykick. It really is as simple as selecting the data that you want and then clicking one button to restore it. What did we learn? We learned what Skykick is. We learned how Skykick conforms to the Essential 8 daily backup recommendations. One click recovery for a full SharePoint site, OneDrive account, or Outlook mailbox. Granular recovery down to a single file or single email. Privacy of data is maintained. We saw how to recover data from Skykick. Thank you for joining me for a look at how Cloud to Cloud Backup works with Skykick. Don't forget, you can contact me via email, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Also, check out the podcast. Visit loyalit.com.au slash podcast for more information. Until next time, stay safe online. Oh, yeah. Yeah. this is yeah. the Cyber Reformer. Hackers, you going down like, oh, yeah. This is the Cyber Reformer. Hackers, you going down, yeah. yeah.